Hey Wildcats, welcome to Harbor Wildcat News. For HBWN, I'm Sarah Gill. And I'm Ashlyn Grace Brothers. Today is our 150th episode of HBWN, so we decided to make this a show all about celebrating. We have special stories lined up on why we should hashtag celebrate Harbor. Some of these stories include what makes our football team different and what our alumni are doing now in the TV program. Today is November 4th, 2016, and HBWN starts right now. Our TV program is award-winning and nationally recognized. If you walk into Mr. Sherman's room, the first thing you will see are the countless awards on the wall. <laughs> well, I don't know about countless, Sarah. <laughs> 456. But among the awards, some of the most sought-after awards are the awards that Mr. Sherman distributes each year called the Harbor Television Legacy Awards. These awards are awarded to one student who will provide a legacy for the future students to follow. Well, Brandon Bucheri is one of the many legacies of the Harbor TV program. He has countless awards on the wall and he has carried on his career in the television productions program. Let's take a look at Brandon Bucheri. The goal of the TV program is to find students that want to pursue media as a career and teach these students the essential skills to thrive in this industry. Brandon Bucheri was in the TV program for all three years he was at Harbor. Just as he made an impact here, he's also making an impact outside the halls of Harbor. I have been given a huge opportunity. I've gotten to work with uh, Miles Whit Boyer a ton, especially the past year. And, you know, as we've worked together more, we've kind of formed a partnership between, he's a photographer and um, he does international weddings, destination weddings. Through that, I've gotten the chance to do some international video work. Um, I know in the next year I'll be going to Mexico a couple of times and possibly some other, other countries, um, just doing some weddings. Through that, it's just, it's really been amazing. Um, getting the chance to partner with another creative who is, I mean, amazing in his field and what he does. But not only that, you know, it's a friendship. And I've, I've made tons of connections with people in this industry just through being able to go up, have a body of work that, you know, like I've mentioned before that I'm proud of and be able to shake their hand and talk to them about what they do and how we can partner in that. It's been amazing, so. Brandon already knows the value of connections, and through these connections, he has been able to strive in this harsh industry at such a young age. Uh, he is already vastly ahead of the curve at his age. You know, when I was his age, I was just graduating film school. Uh, I was coming into my own. I didn't have any business, and he is already scheduled to make uh, a salary that is comparable to uh, any workforce out there right now. And that's incredible to be 21 uh, and making something that you can make a living off of. And he's only going to go, uh, go higher from there. Um, he's, he's scheduled to work in New Mexico and New York and Mexico. And I think there might be a shoot in Sweden or something like that. Uh, uh, so the opportunities he's receiving is, is only a testimony to his talent. You know, uh, this industry can provide a lot of opportunities. Some of these students that we have right now will never leave Arkansas. And so that's why we traveled to nationals, because we get to go to Anaheim and I get to provide opportunities for them so they can see what's out there. And uh, I'm so excited for Brandon that he's actually getting to live that. As Brandon defies the odds of having to stay grounded in Northwest Arkansas, we at Harbor TV wish him the best of luck in his future career. For HBWN, I'm Sarah Gill. We are so proud of Brandon and wish him the very best of luck in the future. He is quick to point out that his success would not be possible without our teacher, Travis Sherman. He has made an incredible impact on so many students. He is one of those teachers that you will never forget and the lessons he teaches are real life lessons, ones that don't come from a textbook. To celebrate Mr. Sherman and his accomplishments, we secretly interviewed alumni and we organized a secret surprise party for him Wednesday during class. We had him called down to the office, and when he came back, he was greeted with a cake and confetti cannons. Here is a thousand ways to celebrate. Uh, probably what I took away was a lot of professionalism. Um, Travis Sherman really taught me that if I want to be in this industry or do anything right in life, that I need to do it to the best of my ability and to do it with a professional aspect, rather that be on time, uh, showing up and doing your best, whatever it is. Uh, Sherman definitely taught me how to do all that. I feel like the biggest thing that I took away from that class was uh, learning how to be a leader. Uh, when I look back three years ago when I was a sophomore, I was very timid and shy and 
I feel like I have grown to be somebody that's very vocal about what they want and is willing to do whatever it takes. Important life lesson Sherman has taught me is deadlines. You must meet your deadlines, not just not in class, but outside in the real world. Because once you don't turn a video in for a client, they're going to be upset. So you got to meet your deadlines all the way. The benefits I've taken out of being in Sherman's class are definitely the responsibility that comes with handling all the gear and um, time management because being a broadcast journalist last year in the sports area, we had a deadline of every Thursday we had to have a package done and that was really difficult but we learned to work through it and also you learn work ethic is a big thing like you really have to have a great work ethic to succeed in this business and Sherman really teaches that. The biggest benefit that I've gotten out of Sherman's class is how to manage your time the right way and how to present yourself professionally no matter where you are. Definitely uh, in the real world, Sherman has taught me a lot. Um, it's not all going to be butterflies and cupcakes. He's definitely shown me that in his class by uh, never letting up, letting, never letting me get off easy. And that's definitely benefited me in college and uh, pursuing a career because it's not always going to be really easy and they're not always just going to give you that A plus or say good job. You're going to have to work for it. And I think Sherman really prepared me for that. Sherman's definitely taught me to never give up and always try and you can always learn and get better and the more you practice, the more you learn uh, because he never has given up on me. I feel like he's always believed in me and it has taught me like to believe in myself and to believe in the work that I'm doing. Sherman has impacted my life and he was not only a teacher, but he's also a good friend. Um, he's always there when I need something and he's just always there for me. Sherman has impacted my life in a numerous amount of ways. I had a bunch of family problems that I went through last year and um, he, he kind of just gave me advice and helped me get through it and he jokes around a lot with me but I know in the end it's all like he does it for the best. Um, Sherman's a great mentor to everybody around him. Sherman has definitely impacted my life greater than any other teacher that I've ever had has. Um, Sherman has always been there for me, whether it's been personal or for TV, and I truly see Sherman as more than just a teacher. I see him as a second father. Hashtag Shermbaum. Hashtag Shermbaum. Hashtag Shermbaum. Hashtag Shermbaum. Hashtag Shermbaum. We are so proud of Mr. Sherman and all the 150 episodes of HBWN. We are going to take a quick commercial break, but stay tuned for a special story connecting the Harbor football players to the kids at Young Elementary School. Stay tuned, HBWN will be right back. Ever since we incorporated theater into our practices, our hustle plays have increased 60%. No! No! Guys! I need more emotion! I want to feel it! Show me! Show me the emotions! Hi, Travis Sherman here with a fantastic new product. Are you tired of shaky shots? Footage that looks like the B-cam operator from Saving Private Ryan? Boy, do we have a product for you. Introducing this revolutionary new product, the tripod. The three keys to success 
are great talent, great work ethic, great hair, and tripods. Before I came to Drury University, my life was as shaky as my shots, but now I'm stable. Discover your Drury life with the tripod. For WCSN, I'm Ashlyn Grace Brothers. No, you gotta own it. You gotta be like, for WCSN, I'm Ashlyn Grace Brothers. <laughs> for WCSN, I'm Ashlyn Grace Brothers. No, I'm Ashlyn Grace Brothers. Okay, I'm Ashlyn Grace Brothers. Yeah, okay, better. Yeah, but don't you think I should add like some. Um, is she gonna be okay? Yeah, they always do this. Okay, so you said, I'm Ashlyn Grace Brothers. Yeah, just no, no, one no, no, more no. time. One but more don't time. you think, don't you think that I should add something like, that's the way the cookie crumbles, or, ooh, okay, good one. Um, I could say something like, No, uh, just one more time. Okay, for WCSN, I'm Ashlyn Grace Brothers. Much better. Almost one out of every four students are bullied in school each year. But did you know that over half the situations stop if a student peer intervenes? It's time to join together and make a stand. And whether you're an athlete, in the band, or finding your own passion, stand up. Because together, we can make the difference. Welcome back. Our Harbor football team has had an amazing season and people from all over the country are watching. Of all the football programs in the state of Arkansas, more importantly in the 7A West, our football program seems to stand out among the rest. Here's the story. What makes something special? It's leadership. It's a philosophy. It's a state of mind. And here at Harbor High School, Coach Wood turns boys into men. They're the change that the world so desperately needs. Every Friday night, they fight on the field with great integrity and grit, and then they turn around and spend the rest of their week volunteering in their community and paying it forward. Well, I mean, I think every program's unique, and they've got their own kind of stamp in who they are. I think what makes ours unique is, uh, you know, we really try to focus uh, on, the, on the building up of uh, young men, and uh, spiritually, morally, athletically, and uh, that's one of our biggest focus is we try to put Harbor football, the rock of our foundation of what we want to build as, an, as a spiritual emphasis and uh, just trying to get them ready for when they graduate high school and they go into the business world, they go into our military, they go into college, that they've got that foundation, you know, the, to know how to do things the right way, uh, the details of things, how to deal with adversity, how to be able to handle situations by yourself and to go through that. And so I think that's one of the big keys and you know we've been fortunate to be successful because we got great kids and great parents but uh, you know if you really get down to the core and the DNA of who we try to be it's, it's trying to build that foundation. The football program here at Harbor is impacting the lives of these young men and shaping their futures. It's their genuine love for the game and happy humbled hearts that have inspired us all. Well you know Harbor football isn't just about football you know we're all about you know teaching young men to get uh, better in life and you know have uh, a sense of responsibility. We also reach out to the community, such as you know the Angel uh, Food Drive and uh, Samaritan Feet, and we go over to Young every other Friday and read to the younger kids at the elementary. Athletes here at Harbor play with a sense of urgency as fans swarm the stands. Their support is astounding, and the team is all about making memories, moving masses, and paying it forward. Well, in the eight years that we've been doing this program, it has impacted so many kids, not just the high school, but also our kids here. Um, you know, we go to games on Friday nights, and these boys, these boys, our kids look up to them, and not just because they're athletes, but also because they're in our classrooms every two weeks helping with our kids, helping them with reading skills, helping them with math skills. Um, they have even helped us do science experiments, and when those Harbor boys are here, it is all about our kids. It's not about the team, it's about our 600 kids that are in this building. Good guys. That's what Harbor's football team is composed of. They play hard and hungry and live life to the fullest, whether it's extra practices or volunteering. My favorite part is to interact with all the other kids at Harbor and they get to, they, they get to know the kids at, uh, more and like they get to help us with the different stuff that we struggle with, like reading, math, or anything that we get to do. I like reading buddies because all the Harbor kids get to come in they take a bunch of their time off of their day just to come and interact with the other kids that they uh, and hang out with them and do all that. And I really like the reading buddies of how they come and help you and of their academics and help you with uh, their learning. Countless hours of practice followed by multiple intentional acts of service. That's what it means to be a Harbor football player. They celebrate not only the victory bell, but the beauty that life has to offer. 
anxiously waiting to share these countless blessings amongst each other and with the rest of the world as well. For WCSN, I'm Sarah Gill. The Reading Buddies come to every Wildcat game, so be on the lookout for young students. Our Wildcat football team is taking on Rogers Heritage tonight. You can support the Wildcats by coming to the game or tuning into the live stream where I will be reporting. You can watch previous episodes or this episode of HBWN on the Springdale Public Schools YouTube channel. There will be a senior camp out in the courtyard after the game. Make sure to bring your lanyard along with your sleeping items and remember that you will be locked in after 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. We at HBWN will be there to cover the event. Tune in next week for the Inside Scoop. For HBWN, I'm Ashlyn Grace Brothers. And I'm Sarah Gill. Hashtag Celebrate Harbor. Hashtag Shermbaum.